Alan Jackson on behalf of my co-hosts Isaac Simpson and Maria Perry. I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Short on Shorts. Our special guest reviewer this week is actress Naomi Grossman, best known as Pepper on American Horror Story. And the second film we reviewed was Whispers Among Wolves, directed by Kevin Lim. The film isn't publicly available just yet, but you can follow along with its progress at its website. The link is below. Enjoy our review. Our next film is Whispers Among Wolves, which is Kevin's pick. It's written and directed by Kevin Lynn, starring Sarah Aubrey and Matthew Backer. Not the Sarah Aubrey of film 44, a different, uh, really good actress. And um, it's a film depicting a dinner between a powerful CEO and her male assistant on the CEO's birthday. And it's such a delicious piece of dialogue, just a, a battle back and forth between two people. Um, Kevin, as your pick, why did you choose this movie? Um, I picked this film because um, I was actually thinking about Maria when I chose this because she always talks about how the films that she picks, she's looking for things that aren't just two-handers, right? Because you see so much of that in short films, just two people talking back and forth. And this, that's more or less what most of this film is, it's just two people talking back and forth, and yet he's found a way to still make it so compelling. And it's because of, it's because of the situation is, in, is engaging and it's because those two actors really do a good job of pulling it off. Um, I wish it had ended differently, to be honest. Um, but the first, the first at least three quarters of this movie is so good that it's definitely worth it. And it's just, I, I thought that the, the idea between the two of them was just a great idea, and it was great dialogue. Why do you wish it ended differently? I don't know, because I just thought, I just, especially with the title and the type of character she is, that it was, it was kind of the easiest possible choice to have her turn out to not be a total bitch by the end. Do you know what I mean? For there to be some sort of reconciliation between them. It would have been a m more interesting movie to me if some, I don't know, if something bad happened to the guy or, I, or, or something. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't, like, it just felt like they went for the happiest possible ending that these two people could have. Well, and yeah, that always feels, um, I mean, if this, were, if this were like a comedy, then I would be like, okay, because I'm just going to laugh and feel good and whatever. But somehow just in this movie, it didn't feel completely satisfying. But like I said, that is a very minor quibble. Well, because the title, Whispers Among Wolves, what, what did that mean? I mean, it could, it, why was it called that? I assume because they were in a fancy place where a lot of, like, high-powered people go. Like, it was clearly not a cheap restaurant. And there's definitely a part where she speaks a little too loudly, and you can tell, like, everything around them just goes completely silent, and everyone turns to look. And even the opening scene is, like, following the glass of... What is it, bourbon? Um, on the waiter. Bourbon. Yes. bourbon. <laughs> Sorry. Scotch, right? Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Sorry. I, I read it a lot more than I say it. Bourbon. It's a problem. I have that problem a lot. I'm sorry in advance. Anyway, so you're following this alcoholic beverage on a tray. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you're hearing all these snippets of, of dialogue that is from the other tables, and then it kind of fades into their dialogue, and that's how you meet the characters. And so I felt like that was just more a more of a commentary on where they were and the area it was taking place in. Because like you said, it takes place all in one place, right. save for the parts that have really cool transitions into flashbacks and you know memories of this party. But it all takes place just there between them. So I feel like this film had everything that I wanted the other to have. And this film had everything that I wanted this film to have. Mm. Like, I was, you know, dazzled by the production quality, you know, the lights and um, um, just in general. It was, it was very beautiful, you know, it was lovely, the lighting and um, it just, it looks like they maybe spent a little money, you know. Right. They shot the actors not from behind. Go figure. Um, <laughs> but, um, sorry, that sounds like a dig to the other no, film. No, I no, really no, loved no. your, I love that first film. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, this, on the other hand, um, I was not as compelled by the first three quarters. Mm. Uh, I was kind of bored. Yeah. Interesting. Um, wow. I was like, 
kind of like you were saying about the, what did you call it, a two-hander? Right. That's, yeah, I that's always come something else yeah. from. <laughs> no, it's like blowjob uh, and a two-hander. Well <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I, I, I kind of object to those shorts. It's right. like if you're going to make a short, like if all it is is two people talking, put it up on stage or, you know, put it somewhere where that's all we need or is mm. a two chairs and a audience. Right. Um, but if it's a short film, like take us somewhere or do things that we can only do in film. Right. And so, you know, I was so relieved when they finally like went off and had a flashback or two, um, which were beautiful, but I needed more of them. Oh, and I would so have liked to have seen them all throughout. Why just like the three that we got? And even then they came way late. Yeah, and they, they, and they weren't me. really that relevant. I think that's a very justified criticism of this. It is, why is this a film? It's so, it, the, the dialogue is perfect right. in my view. I mean, it's this great battle, but it is true. Why are we watching this as a movie? Why is this not a book or an audio book or something? Well, because an it's called book. Whispers Among Wolves. You wouldn't be able to whisper if this were a stage play. Mm. It's about, it's a, to me, the title is about, um, I mean, that, by the way, I'm guessing. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. But, um, you know, to me, the title is about what these really, really dangerous, you know, sort of, I mean, wolves are sort of violent people, right? Um, they're they're kind of vicious they're creatures. Wolves are actually. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. Wolves are are, are kind of vicious creatures, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and so that to me was the woman. This this notion of sort of the high powered CEO, um, you know, that that's the wolf part. And the whispers was about the things that they say when they're in private spaces that we don't normally get to hear. And I don't, you know, I yeah, don't, it's saying I mean, that these people that are. It's saying that these people are these sort of advanced killer people. But what didn't make sense to me about that is that he really wasn't a wolf. She was the wolf, well, she, and he was like maybe like a baby wolf or something. I don't know. I think uh, that was a very enlightening criticism you you gave there. I, I I didn't feel bored just because I, you know, as a writer, I think I just like words so much, and I think that they really did. Mm -hmm. Such a great, I mean, like the depth well, of that dialogue her, was cool. Yeah, and she was amazing. So good. They were both really good. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, one thing that bothered me was that she said, Oh, you like squash foreign films and Radiohead. You're so far deep in the closet, you could be a Narnia. <laughs> that was a good and, one. And I love squash foreign films oh, and on. radio. To be fair, <laughs> we did watch the short you picked out. <laughs> I know, that's my second one. It's literally, I love, like those are three things that I, like I love those three things. Uh -huh. Those, so are, you, those saying, are traditionally Isaac? gay. Are you on Grindr? I'm not on Grindr, yeah. <laughs> but those aren't even three traditionally gay things. I think that gay right. is like show tunes, Katy Perry, and like, right. I don't know. No, I hear what you're hey, saying. Wait, what that, it, it was a it was a weird collection of things, <laughs> like, of, of examples to use to label someone as gay. Yeah, come but, on. But I mean, maybe um, I mean, wasn't this a Australian filmmaker? Yeah. I mean, maybe it's a cultural okay. reference or something. Maybe it's a maybe it's a maybe people maybe in Australia. Those things, maybe I'm gay in Australia. Maybe maybe because I love radio. I mean, Radiohead. Come on, that's not gay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's not maybe entirely Abba's true. Maybe Abba's straight there. Yeah, Straight up, maybe I it's all to, flipped on its head. Like I just went to an Idina Menzel concert. It is down under. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, anyway, okay. Uh, last question, then we'll move on. Kevin Lin Lim, the uh, the director of this, said that he was searching for more three dimensional female characters, which is why he wrote this this female. Which I I love this character. However. Did he succeed in creating a three-dimensional female character? Because she was such a you know, think, C word with a capital C. I think that that's where Kevin's complaints about the end comes in. Because you saw a lot of this character as like a stereotypical, like in the 80s, every woman that was this woman had like the really short hair and the huge shoulder pads. And she was the CEO of something. And she was just a bitch all the way through. And there was no redemption for her. Whereas this one, you did get like the softer ending. And then maybe that also figures into the title because wolves are, you know, they're predatory, but they're also pack animals. They take care of their own. So like that kind of makes a little bit more sense mm -hmm. to me in that, in that way. Yeah. 
I don't think that by giving her resolution, it, it made her more three-dimensional. That's, I mean, I have more to say about I mean, she was very easy to watch. I enjoyed her as an actress, but uh, yeah, like I had a little problem with the fact that she kept wanting him to order a drink, stay for one more, you know, order a drink, you pussy. And then all of a sudden <laughs> cut to, <clears throat> you know, go ahead now, you've been fired, get on to your lady friend. Like, oh, what happened? Yeah, th that's like, very fair too. What are we trying to just wrap this up? Yeah, if she was really needing him to stay there, why did she then suddenly, to five minutes later, be like, okay, bye? Like, yeah, yeah, like um, what, what was she looking for that she that No, she, she, got? Read, she read the letter. She read the oh, letter. Oh, okay. That's the thing that changed. I mean, I don't know if, the, if he, as a filmmaker, succeeded, but that's the moment that was supposed to... Uh, be the catalyst of change. Discharge her. her right? Discharge her. Um, but I mean, but I think that we're all sort of pointing to the same thing, which is that um, she's a fascinating character, right? She, I would, I would watch more. I would watch a feature with that character. I'd love to see that character and him too. I thought he was great. Um, but I don't, you know, I, I think that by making it sort of a happyish ending, it it robbed us of of. I don't know, sort of a, a, a real three-dimensional feel. It didn't add to it, yeah. um, at least for me. Thanks for watching. If you want more information about how Short on Shorts works or how you can submit your film for consideration, or if you want to watch more episodes of Short on Shorts, click on the link at the end of this video if you're watching on Facebook or in the description below if you're watching on YouTube.